how you choose to respond to how you think to what people do to you. He is in jail. He's experiencing hard times, not because Joseph has done anything wrong, but because of what people have done to Joseph. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. When I first got the call, and one of the greatest calls of my life, because I was praying that someone could come to help me at Simmons, and the person, to tell you how God works, the person who was on my mind and was in New Jersey, it was Dr. Brian Lee. I was trying, to the best of my ability, to carve out a leadership position at Simmons College for Dr. Brian Lee. He didn't know that I had him on my mind. And I didn't know he had me on his mind. And the day he called me, said, Kevin, I'd like to relocate from New Jersey. The day he called me, I shouted. Because see, when God is in the yeah. I shouted, and the first words out of my mouth is, Brian, I've been thinking about you. Brian, I need you here in Louisville. Because things just did not work well for Dr. Wells, where he was in New Jersey. It was a bad fit, the church he was in. Can I tell you why? Here's the bad. It had nothing to do with Dr. Wells' scholarship. Yeah. It had nothing to do with his integrity. This is what the problem is with Dr. Wells. Right. He's smart. <laughs> Interpret dreams. 
the dream. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, so the king sent for Joseph. The king sent for Joseph. And it's a wonderful thing yes. when you know that when you've been forsaken, right, yeah. when you've had a hardship or yeah. a hard trial, right. yeah. when God intervenes, yeah. moves upon the people's yeah. heart yeah. to yeah. sin for you. Yeah. What an appropriate verse yeah. for this wonderful man. Yeah. The king sent for Joseph. Uh, the presbytery sent for Joseph. Yeah. Amen. He thought he was coming to Louisville. He wasn't coming to Louisville on his own. And you didn't know he was coming to Louisville. You didn't know about a Dr. Brian Wells. But that just goes to show that the Lord is in control. Right. 